so now we will see math functions in css so guys basically the css math functions allow mathematical expressions to be used as property values and this we are going to check with the help of examples as well so we will see the various functions such as the calci function and the max function and the min function over here so guys basically we can provide the mathematical expressions in between these parentheses that you can see inside this for these css math functions so guys let us check the examples over here so basically the calci function performs a calculation to be used as the property value so guys let us check this with the help of example in vs code over here so simply inside this body section of the html web page what we are going to do is we will simply have the diff container over here so we will define the diff tag with the class container in this case and then guys basically we are going to generate some random text over here using the lorem emmet abbreviation so guys as you can see we have generated some random text in this case now guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page on the browser so as you can see this is some random text that we have generated now guys what we will do is inside the style.css file we will provide certain css properties to this class container over here which is associated with the div tag that we have defined so guys basically we are going to have the background color as yellow in this case so we will use the background color css property also we will define the border as two pixels border width with the border style as solid and the border color as black color in this case let us also provide certain padding over here so we will provide the value as 5 pixels in this case let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see this is the dev with the class container with the required css properties that we have defined now guys how do we use the calci function that is the math function over here inside the style.css file so guys we can use the with css property in order to define the width of this particular div tag so currently it is taking the 100% width of this entire screen let us set it to 50% width of the screen so how we can do that simply by providing the width property over here and then simply we can provide 50% in this case so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see we have the 50% width in this case now guys this is the direct way in order to provide a certain value to the css property but let's say from this 100% of the width of this particular div container that we have seen just now so let us change it to 100 percent in this case so let's say if we only want to remove the 200 pixels from the right so what we can do is simply we can use the math function that is calci over here so as you can see this is the function and inside this we have to provide the expression that is 100 percent minus 200 pixels so guys basically this is the mathematical expression that we are providing what we are saying to the web browser over here here is from the 100% of the width please remove 200 pixels so whatever the result will be of this particular expression that result will be set as the width of this particular class that is container over here so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see from the right 200 pixels has been removed from here that is from the 100% we are subtracting 200 pixels of the width and this is the way that the width of a particular div container or any other HTML element can be set by using the calci math function over here guys apart from this let us say if we want to remove more 100 pixels from the right so what we can do is from the 100 percent of the width we want to remove 300 pixels from here so simply we have to minus the 300 pixels let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see 300 pixels is removed from the 100 percent of the width of this particular div container and in this way you can provide the mathematical expression inside the parenthesis of this math function that is calci now guys apart from this we also have the max function over here which uses the largest value so we will be providing the comma separated list of values from which the largest value will be used in order to set the property value in this case so guys let us check this as well so what we will do is instead of using the calci math function we will use the max math function over here and inside this let us say we only provide one value that is 300 pixels over here so guys what will happen so in this case since the largest value is 300 pixels because that is the only value that is present right now inside the max math function so that is what is going to be set as the value for this particular width of the container so guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see this is the 300 pixels width of the div container if we right click over here and click on the inspect option we will be able to see the width of the container over here as you can see the content 
is 300 multiplied by 180 so over here 300 is the width of this particular dev element right now so guys in this way you can use the max function with just one value and apart from this let us say we also want to provide another value that is 50 percent of the entire width of the screen so guys over here we have to provide comma followed by 50 percent so guys this is another value over here so currently 300 pixels is this much on the screen that you can see and when we say 50 percent it will be at the center of the screen where the right hand side of the div element must be present so guys somewhere over here the right hand side of the div element should occur when we apply these changes over here so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see the 50 percent of the width of the screen is being taken right now and the border is present at the center of the page over here as far as horizontal alignment is concerned so guys out of 300 pixels and 50 percent 50 percent is greater right now and that is what is being set as the value of the width css property now guys apart from this let us say we also have 70 percent as the width so currently 70 percent of the width will be the highest number over here so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so 70 percent is being set as the width of the div container so in this way you can also use the max math function inside the css for any of the css properties that you want to use the mathematical expression for now guys similarly we will have the min function as well which uses the smallest value from the comma separated list of values as the property value so guys let us check this as well so out of all these three values that we have provided 70 percent is the largest value and that is what we have seen over here that is 70 percent of the width is getting implemented right now for this div container what if we provide the min function for this same list of values so in this case the minimum value will be 300 pixels because that is the smallest value out of all these three values and that is what should be set as the width for this particular div container so guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page notice that we have provided the min function over here instead of max function so when we reload this page as you can see the minimum value which is 300 pixels out of all these list of values will be implemented as the width of the div container when we right click and click on the inspect option you can see that the 300 pixels that is the width is being set for this particular html element apart from this we can also reduce the width so let's say we provide another value as 200 pixels so currently 200 pixels is the smallest value out of all these values that we can see right now so when we save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see 200 pixels is being set as the width of the html element and instead of using min we can also use max function in this case let me just save this file now so currently 70 percent will be set as the width of the dev element so when we reload this page as you can see this is the 70 percent of the screen that is being taken by this html element so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is rounded corners in css so stay tuned